There's three things that will happen if you get rejected from a customer in no particular order. Number one, take that load back to the shipper, which is what I'm doing now. Number two is Prime will have you take the loaded tanker to a drop place. Well, I wouldn't really say a place it is a place that is going to dispose of the product. And basically it would be at a place that has access to a rail car. So I would basically either myself, I would use our pump to pump off this tanker into a rail car or they would pop it off into their rail car. Uh, the other thing is that sometimes not, this doesn't happen often, but sometimes the receiver will reject the load and dispatch will call the shipper. Then the shipper will get a hold of the receiver and sometimes, not all the time, but very rarely, they'll work some type of deal out where they'll end up taking it. When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. It is 8.31 at night and uh, from whenever I checked in till just now after I got it loaded was three and a half hours. Exactly. 127 in the morning and we just arrived at the tank wash. Uh, I am at American Tank Wash in Jeffersonville, Indiana. They open at seven o'clock in the morning. They close at three. We'll close these curtains up. I just got them <coughs> brushing my, my teeth. And it's gonna be time for night night time. It's gonna be for me. Empty bottles. Keep those for emergencies if you know what I mean. My little area ready here. Damn chargers in my bag. Y'all get you some rest. I will see y'all in the morning. We'll get this damn trailer checked in. I did not drop it because I'm too tired. I was going to drop the trailer and move and I ain't doing all that. I'm freaking beat. I'm about to pass out right now. I just got up. I dropped my trailer. That's where I was parked last night. So I just dropped my trailer. I already went in here and checked in my uh, tanker trailer with these boys. And I went in there and brushed my teeth, took my vitamins. I think that's good enough. So I vacuum, I vacuumed my floor and I'm gonna throw out this trash, but they got my trailer in the bay. It should be done soon. Looks like another prime driver's over here. This curtain's been closed since I got here. And we're just waiting for these guys to finish up my trailer so we can get to rolling. I gotta get a shower today too. I'm gonna start the truck up so I can cool down. It's a little humid and hot right now. Hey, look, they're pulling it out right now. I think they're gonna drop it right over there. Oh, yeah, I think they're gonna drop it. Let's fire this bad boy up. Dang, I need to clean my mustard dusty boy. I need to clean that crap up. All right. Oh, boy. All right, let's get hooked up to this damn thing. I don't wanna track this mud. We got a big enough gap on the landing gear down there. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pull forward over here, so that way. Stepping all this mud over here. My landing gear's up high enough, so I shouldn't scrape anything. That should be good. Stupid. There we go. Now I just need to check on these seals right here. Okay, yep, it says food grade wash. Three six, and the other one should be one zero five eight two six. Eight, two, six. There we go. We are good, guys. We are good. So, uh, with Prime, uh, you get free showers with Loves, but I have it every month. You get an email, and you have to activate it. And I haven't seen that email, so I don't have any shower credits with Loves right now. 
Uh, I have two shower credits with Road Ranger, so I'm gonna check on, uh, do a little trip planning here. Find a Road Ranger on my way to the shipper. I gotta, I'm gonna be getting loaded Monday, which today is Saturday. So I'll get as close as I can. No good so far. It looks like I'm gonna be SOL, guys. So that means I'm gonna have to pay for a shower. This is gonna be totally awesome. and I'm gonna go in here and I'll be paying for a shower so I'm trying to get my shower bag ready all right you guys good morning we're gonna head over to the shipper I've been at this loves so after I got washed out I've been at this loves here in Be Bellevue Ohio I don't know I think that's how you pronounce it Bellevue Ohio so I've basically been here since uh, Saturday night so basically i took a 34 here and now we're going to be heading over to the shipper uh because we couldn't get loaded till today so uh fun stuff i think i i think i made it here i've never been to this shipper here winesburg ohio there's a scale up here uh i was going to go around these hopper guys and hop on the scale but there's there's two hopper dudes in front of me right now uh, it's 7.53, my appointment is between 8 and 3, so it also says here in the notes that I need my three prior bill of lading, so uh, let me shoot a message over to dispatch right quick. I just sent uh, my dispatcher a message to let him know, send me those three prior bill of ladings for this, uh, for this tanker trailer. Alright, All right, let me go in here and get checked in real quick. Uh, they told me to go over here and line up behind these hoppers, so... They said uh, they will come out and get me when they're ready to load me. So we just wait. Okay, now that, oh, I gotta give the, the loader this stack of papers right here. And they needed my three previous bills, which my dispatcher sent those over to me via email. And then when I went and checked in, I had to email the lady in there that got all my paperwork ready. I had to email her. Basically, I forwarded the email to her. So I was in there for about maybe 15 minutes. And right now I'm empty and I weigh 30,540 pounds. So that's what I weigh empty right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my wash ticket back on my clipboard. Now, I gotta get some fuel. Every day, the place will change on where it wants me to get fuel. So it wanted me to get fuel in Oakwood, Illinois or something like that, but uh, I'm sending a message to my dispatcher to tell them thanks for the sending the email to me. Okay, where does it want me to get fuel? Oh, so it wanted me to get fuel at a Circle K in Morton, Illinois uh, yesterday, but I couldn't get loaded till today. So they changed the fuel location to a Loves in Oakwood, Illinois. It wants me to fill up. So I'm gonna see how far we are away from Loves number 750. Let's see here, buddy. So it wants me to run to 30 back to 71 south around Columbus, take 70, take that through all the way through Indianapolis. That works for me. 
All right, let's see how far we are away from the receiver. Uh, delivers tomorrow, 617 South D Street. 617 South D Street. Midwestern pet. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. So I got <clears throat> nine hours and 38 minutes left on my clock. Now, the time it gives me on the Trucker's Path app, it's based off the speed limits. So my truck can't go 70 miles an hour. So I won't have enough time to get there today, which my appointment is not till tomorrow. So I will probably stop. Maybe there's something maybe after Peoria or maybe before. All right, let's actually hit navigate. And then I can see what stops there are. Is that Peoria? No, that's Indianapolis. Peoria is up here. So there's a truck stop here. Oh, that's where it wanted me to get fuel. Oh, you know what? Maybe. There's a Burger King across the street, a Taco Bell. It's walking distance, an Arby's. Oh, they got a Culver's? Oh boy, I'm going to Culver's. Yep, I'm gonna try to make it here. I think I can make it there if I don't have any problems with traffic. So we're gonna find out, guys. deliver this tomorrow and then hopefully uh, tomorrow late at night I should be home because uh, then I'm gonna be fingers crossed uh, they'll have a student for me to scoop up tomorrow afternoon or not tomorrow afternoon Wednesday afternoon uh, today's Monday but yeah I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a while I thank you guys that I will be getting loaded in one of these bays over here uh, on the left side of that red truck and we are still waiting it's 1030 it's humid today in Ohio, I'll tell you that right now. And it's only gonna be getting warmer. I'm gonna eyeball this from the floor, don't shut the truck off until I got that tube in up top. Okay. We're trying to miss this rack up here. Okay. I need you close to the wall because a lot of times guys are too far this way to get the tube in. So I'm going to try and keep you close from this end. Okay. Filling it up now. I was chit chatting with this uh, with this hopper dude. Pretty cool guy. Said he pulled flatbed for five years and got tired of the tarpon, so he went over to the hopper side. I guess he said uh, he's been doing hopper for a year and he's going to be looking into going uh, doing the uh, pneumatic tankers. All right, get that into the office. All right, thank you.
They said it's gonna take 10 minutes for them to check the sample that I took in there to them. Uh, they told me to go ahead and hop off the scale. Uh, back for them to give us our paperwork so we can roll up out of here all right let's uh get a picture of these uh seals here real quick so that way when they come with my paperwork i already got them Seventy-seven thousand three hundred sixty pounds. So it's got the right receiver's information on it. Bill of lading, this certificate of analysis, all the previous bills, and this is the washout ticket. Okay, I'm just gonna do my uh, do my depart call. We get the hell up out of here. Oh, that looks so healthy, bro. Yeah, boy. Got to get a Culver's burger. Woke up a little bit late. So last night I got to this uh, Circle K in, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm in Morton, Illinois at this uh, Circle K. There's a, it's like a truck stop Circle K. But last night I stopped, I, uh, I stopped here. I got some Culver's late last night. I was talking to wife a long time, but I, I just basically overslept. Not, I wouldn't really say overslept because the uh, receiver that I'm going to, there's not a delivery time. I could just deliver any time today. So, and then after this, I think I'm gonna be going to the house because uh, tomorrow, hopefully Prime will have another student for me so I can help, you know, do training, help somebody out with their uh, PSD training, somebody that needs to get their license. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just bored out. I have been to this receiver, uh, as I've been thinking about it more when I was looking into the notes, I've been over to this uh, receiver one other time, so, yeah. Hey guys, we made it here. I'm on the customer scale right now. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm 78,200 pounds right now based off their uh, their scale right there, clock, or their digital scale reading. Uh, I'm trying to remember if the bell uh, ring is over this way. Fine, I can do that. 
I gotta back up over here to this box. and see if I got it, if I got it close enough. There we go. Uh, yep, I think that's good. Uh, we'll just pull it up a little bit more. Drop my bags. I've heard of drivers where the valve was open. Oh, dude. Yeah, they sprayed me with it. Oh, man, got him soaked. Shot. Dude, that shit like 50. Yep. 50 something gallons, just straight up, dude. Yeah, that shit fucking went everywhere. And I'm like, really, dude? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit never happens at the end of the day. Yeah. You end up wearing that shit all fucking day. Oof. <laughs> I walked around this whole lot looking for their bathroom. They said it was on the south lot, and it is uh, not in the south lot. Oh! Oh, he didn't need my, he didn't need my cutter, so I'll move that stuff out of the way there. Yeah, it's probably going to be a while, plus it's lunchtime for them. And so he just grabbed the, he just grabbed the sample grab the sample and they'll be checking it. Oh, this out of the way. There we go. Get that damn thing out of my way. be going home after this they just sent me this so now so now i gotta go to uh sandy wash in lafayette indiana to get washed out and it looks like i'll be getting loaded with some eggs in cal calhoun kentucky tomorrow 
and that's delivering to uh, Verona, Missouri for Thursday. But I might be able to get it there late Wednesday night, so we will see. It, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, I told my dispatcher to give me the email for the training, uh, the training manager, so I could shoot him an email, basically. Uh, let him know that I won't be in Springfield because he wanted me to come see him on Wednesday to pick up a student But I'm not gonna get there before he's gone for the day on Wednesday. So I'll probably have to see him on Thursday Yeah, Thursday I have to go talk to him. So a lot of stuff never really goes according to plan in trucking Everything's usually a day off a day early a day later. All right, let's go out here and make sure see if they sealed us back up Looks like they got the bolt through it. So that's closed. All right, let's just make sure everything back here is sealed Oh, yep, they've got a seal, they got a seal on it. Uh, so now we're just gonna wait and wait to hear back from dispatch, see where the hell we're going. This happens. So they just came out, told me, while well, I was being rejected, high moisture count. So I'm gonna shoot a message over to dispatch and see, see what we're gonna do. So, I mean, I'm still gonna get paid. Um, I call my dispatcher, um, he's gonna figure out, he's gonna give the, the shipper a call, figure it out. Uh, that's him right there. Yeah, what's up, boss? Uh, they, yeah, no, they did. They they, they they resealed it. I checked it, and they put the seal numbers on the paperwork. Uh, well, on the what they wrote was MPF rejected, resealed, and he told me when he handed me the bills, he said uh, we're rejecting you for high moisture count. <laughs> Okay. I got you. No, uh, it, it's whatever, you know. Uh, just yeah. Yeah, no, it's... It, hey, man, brother, hey, look, it, it is what it is. I'm I'm down for whatever. I just roll with the flow. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed just like you, trust me. But... Well, like I said, I just, I, I'm, I'm leaving that plan on you for now. Yeah. But I, I would say there's probably a high likelihood that I'll have something like that. All right, I'm just gonna. No, it was a good. No, what you? Yeah, it was a good, a good route. Um, unfortunately, like you said, it probably is probably not the way it's gonna go because of this rejection. But it, it is what it is, man. We just roll with the flow, you know. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, I've been ha have been hanging tight. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that all right, sounds good, man. I'll just wait to hear from you through the message. All right, bye. All right, <sighs> time to get a shower. After I got rejected and I spoke with my dispatcher, I went to a Love's a few miles. It was just right up the street. Actually, I don't even think it was a couple miles. I think it was one mile exactly. Because I needed to take a shower. So I took a shower. You know, he had sent me the message telling me he was going to let me know. So I didn't hear anything throughout the night. So then when I woke up this morning, he sent me this message. So now we're going to be taking this rejected load all the way back to the shipper. Now... I am paid for all those miles going all the way back to the shipper. So basically, we're gonna get to the shipper, check in, and they're gonna unload this tanker. And then once they unload this, I'll be going on to a next load. But I'll have to get washed out first in Lima, Ohio. Uh, and then I'll be doing a drop and hook. And I'll be dropping my clean trailer in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Ugh, Fort Recovery, Ohio. 
and then I'll be picking up a preloaded trailer and that's going to Verona, Missouri. So I thought I was gonna be on Tuesday night. That didn't happen. Things happen in trucking. You know, it is what it is. You just deal with them. And uh, so I should be home Friday night. Let's get this load taken back. We are pulling up to this Sheets, Marengo, Ohio. Oh yeah, it looks like there's plenty of spots. Look at that, I'm gonna get a spot right here by this trash can. Spots are nice, nice and wide open. There we go. All right, on duty post trip. We're gonna do a little post trip, walk around, check everything, make sure everything looks good. And I gotta toss out some trash. See that boy parked right by the trash can. So we are gonna be here at Sheets in Marengo. Is it Marengo? I think it's Marengo. So we're basically, yeah. Gonna be taking uh we're gonna be taking our 10-hour break here in uh Marengo, Ohio. 